Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are talking about a uh, specific subject that a lot of people have been asking questions about lately and that is is it worth it to get into legendaries? Is it worth it to get into legendary crafting at the point that we're currently at? in the expansion but also the patch before we get into anything make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out greatly let's get into it so this is just kind of uh gonna be me expressing my thoughts and my uh i guess advice as to whether or not you should enter the market so first of all actually the legendary system is still very healthy there's a lot of sales going around now with 9.1.5 a lot of people are playing alts everybody is going out and playing more content you know uh with the legion time walking events coming up in you know a little under a month we are going to see an increased play on alts and that could also mean a lot more legendary sales for a prolonged amount of time um the thing about legendaries if you haven't entered the market if you know nothing about it the tldr is it's extremely expensive if you have nothing leveled up you are going to be investing a lot of gold to be able to get to the point of making gold now what do i mean by that as a legendary you have four different ranks okay and the first rank one rank two rank three are obviously the lower item levels and with how far we're currently into the patch most people would probably only buy the rank four the rank five or the rank six now getting up to that point depending on obviously the profession that will cost you a ton of gold and you have to realize that investing gold into legendaries is going to be a gold sink for a while because here's on to my second point and that's the fact if you want to sell legendaries pretty much on any server unless it's a low pop or a medium pop if you're playing on any high pop or close to a full pop you have to babysit the auction house and that is literally sitting on the auction house 24 7 maybe not 24 hours a day but if you're wanting legendary sales on any piece of armor that you're going to make the base legendary is for you have to sit there and post cancel scan post cancel scan post cancel scan if you're not a fan of tsm you obviously have to do the same thing just manually and yeah i mean if you want to do that if you want to sit on the auction house for hours every day and post and cancel scan specifically legendaries you're gonna make a lot of gold because there's still a lot of profit to be had at rank fives and sixes it's absolutely uh we we you know it's easy to tell with the surges and materials you have something like core fight crystals in my realm at the moment uh going for 850 gold because there's a short of materials right and everything that's you know revolving around the legendaries all the materials have gone up in value a lot of it so this isn't me trying to say that it's not worth it to get into you just have to think about all of the things that impact the legendary market before you decide to go into it there's a couple different ways that you can actually decide oh i want to go into the legendary market and i want to start this way a lot of uh, a lot of us you know um i mean i guess bigger goblins with a lot more gold we would just be like yeah buy everything level it up all at once um and honestly that is probably going to be the best case scenario for you at the moment if you can't do more than a couple pieces for the legendary market it's not really gonna i i don't think it's really going to be worth it worth your time uh considering it's going to be very slow if you only have one or two or three pieces that you're selling on the auction house the amount of gold that you have to invest into making that a possibility it will just take a very very long time where you're putting a lot of gold into nothing but if you take let's say a full profession or two and you level up all of the ranks and start selling all of the higher ranks at once then the amount of gold that you're going to make back is much higher and much quicker uh, now obviously you need a much higher starting capital and some people would probably ask me how much do you need in a starting capital to be able to actually make legendaries I with the current prices you're probably gonna be looking at spending over a gold cap if you want every single profession um, if you're going for you know blacksmithing or you're going for leatherworking for example you're probably going to be spending you know two to four million something like that on leveling them up to rank four 
and that's just materials that go into nothing you will barely get any of that return back you will pretty much just be spending that gold to rank one twos and maybe even threes are just straight out the window there's not really that many people that are going to buy them and even even if they are the prices are so low that you're barely making any gold back so if you're okay with investing multiple millions into it i say go for it right the last thing that i kind of want to talk to you guys about is the fact that we we know in 9.2 that has been announced we don't know the ptr date for it yet we don't know the release date for the actual patch but we know that you can equip two legendaries in the patch okay so one covenant legendary and one other legendary and that's really important because we know legendaries are going to continue there's going to be higher item levels but the difference is we don't know what they're going to do next we don't know if they're going to take uh the legendary crafting out of the profession hands and into the player hands so it's it's kind of a risk at the moment to actually decide to go into legendaries but i will say if you do it quickly as in you start with a big capital and you level up a bunch of legendaries at the same time and start pushing them out that would probably still be good because 9.2 is arguably probably three months away maybe even four uh I, that's maybe being conservative about it. it it could be more honestly uh so there's still lots and lots and lots of months to be able to make gold from it but let's say that they decide to take it out of professions then you're gonna be in a bad situation but i would also say let's say that they decide to incorporate it into professions and they make an upgrade system like we got in 9.1 with the vestige of origins then we have the same thing again where people that haven't been in the legendary market they actually need to get into it to be able to craft the next higher tier that we're currently looking at so it's just getting the conversation started thinking about do you really want to do this or not is it worth it is it worth your time and that's kind of why uh when when we talk about legendaries usually at least me and a couple other gold makers that i know we're always uh pretty uh i guess negative about it like say or, or at least cautious about it uh and make sure that everybody understands the full extent of the market because it's very it's it's it takes a lot of effort to be able to make gold from legendaries it's not something you can just post and forget uh at least on most servers so um but i hope this video uh helped you guys out in thinking a little bit more about legendaries or at least uh you know maybe giving you guys an answer whether or not you want to get into legendaries i'd love to talk more about this with you guys so if you have any other like ideas or questions or discussion points uh make sure you drop it down in the comments below i'd love to talk about it love to hear about it um but that's gonna be it from my side uh for now but i appreciate you guys watching the video if you're still here make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell because uh yeah it supports me greatly but that's gonna be it for this video guys i appreciate you very much but until the next one see you guys